Hey guys, it's Jen from Beauty Ride X, and today we have a mystery box unboxing and a haul from Lunatic Lab Cosmetics. And I feel like this brand's been around for a little while, but I don't hear them hugely talked about. I know Bailey Darian, I think that's her last name, who is beyond gorgeous and adorable and sweet. I've seen her use uh, like their contour palette, which is one of the things that I ordered. And I was looking around and I signed up to receive their email and they had mystery boxes, which are one of my favorite things in the world. I've been burned in the past, but oh God, it's like sometimes you just can't help yourself. I don't know which is in which box. I'm assuming the slightly heavier one is the mystery box. I'll do that one first. Now this mystery box, they had like three different tiers. They had like a $30 one, a $50 one, and a $100 one. So I got the $100 one and spoiler alert, well, I don't know if this is a spoiler alert, but it could be. I, I didn't go looking for spoilers, but I, I went looking for past mystery boxes from them. And one of the ones that I saw, and honestly, it's the only one that I saw because it disheartened me that much. This was after I ordered and everything. The first few things this girl took out of the box, were, it wasn't makeup. And it was like almost like a mystery box you would get from eBay bracelet and like a notepad. Like it was just weird. I'm, I didn't give it enough of a chance or watch anymore just for that reason because I didn't want to be that upset so I'm, I'm praying to god that's not what this is I'm hoping it's a makeup box and if it's not it'll be the last one I order from them so here's hoping I'm surprised so it comes in this little like tombstone box with it which I think is cute a little hot topic -y for me but anyway and it says here lies your face which I think is cute and it says may your makeup forever rest in place that's pretty cute okay. it says thanks Jen sending well wishes your way well that's nice I hope it is good because they seem nice okay so you get a little sticker Oh, another sticker. It's like a, I don't know what it is, but kind of reminds me of a tarot card. I'm not a tarot card psychic goer person, so you know, I don't, I don't believe in that stuff. My sister's all into it, but I'm just like, no thanks. She's like, no, no, but really, I'm like, no thanks. It's packaged very well. Ugh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. So we have a doll. There you go, Roxy. We have a jelly brain. Oh, a whoopee cushion. A, it looks like a coffin but it's like a sponge. Is it a makeup remover wipe thing? Oh yeah, I think it's it's by the, this company and it's, I think it's a makeup remover thing. Okay, well, you know, I'll use that. It does look like there's makeup in here though, so maybe I just, just stopped the, vid the video that I watched too soon, but still, you know, it's a mystery box and you kind of, all right, a lollipop. Now this is a, a goth kind of brand, so I'm not expecting, you know, nudes and like pinks and peaches and stuff, which, you know, I'm prepared for, that's fine. If it's a color I don't like, I'll just save it for a giveaway. All right, so the first thing I see is a dye liner. Dye liner, lip, oh, you can use your eye, lip, whatever. Um, oh, okay, it's black. Okay, I'm confused now. All right, so it's black and it's flat. I don't know if that's a, something that just happened, but I guess it's one of those plastics you can actually sharpen. It's very dark, very black. I love a good black liner, so sure. This isn't screwing up anything. It's just coming off, so I'm assuming it's just a sharpenable thing. Next, it looks like it's a Lip Dyes Liquid to Dry Matte Lipstick. I hope this isn't black. Oh no, it's not, okay. Oh, it's a nice, like, uh, kind of reddish, slightly orange shade. That's kind of like a nice, deep red. Okay, that's nice. I'll use that. And then it seems like there's a few palettes, so here's hoping, here's hoping. Okay, cool. These are, I don't know what these are, but we have three different shades, like a grayish and two purples. It'd be nice if they were like liners or something, but I have a feeling they're like lipstick. All right, so yeah, it's like a dead purple grayish. I don't love these shades on me, but for the sake of trying out, maybe I will keep all of them. I don't own any purple lipsticks and kind of seem fun. So we have oven cream, paranormal, and Graveheart. That's cute. I'll just do a quick swatch. They're very opaque though, so that's nice. Okay, so there's there are these three. All right, the next one is Cemetery Shrine Highlighter Palette. Oh God, I hope this isn't the one I ordered. I pre-ordered a new highlight palette from them. I hope it's not this one. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, so it's got four shades. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna wait until I swatch them to see which ones I can get away with. Okay, so the shades all look very neutral and on the more wearable side, so that's nice. Okay, so as per usual, the first two shades, you know, I could definitely get away with. The other two, I could possibly get away with like on top, like as blush toppers, so oh, that's a great addition. All right, the next is High Definition Micro Finish Press Powder. I know this is very, very white, 
I don't know if it's the white that will, okay, okay, so it's not like white face powder, okay. So it seems to be translucent, it's mattifying. You can't see it, so that's very promising. I don't, I'm not, I don't tend to be very oily, except in like summer, so like this is probably something I'd like hang on until then. This one looks like it's just going to be a coffin shape. The Vampira eyeshadow palette. This I'm probably gonna save for a giveaway. They're all like satin metallics and it's not really my color story, but I'm thrilled that this is something that came. I mean, I guess I can't be too surprised with the additions of like these weird add-ons because although they could just be add-ons, which would be amazing. I'm sure this, all this stuff that I have in front of me is all worth over $100, but I probably wouldn't order again because they have, they don't have a ton of products. So it's not like ColourPop where you, where you have absolutely no idea what you're going to get. Um, okay, so this is the Descendant eyeshadow palette. It looks kind of, oh good, thank God. <gasps> oh, it's all matte and it's all neutral. Oh, okay, I'm in love. Keeping, keeping, keeping. Oh, and I love that it's neutral, but it's also, it's like cool neutral and it has like some semi like warm shades and they feel really nice, smooth, blendable. I mean, I'll save the real, thoughts for when I actually use it, but okay. So th these three palettes I'm keeping. This one I'm gonna save for a giveaway. It didn't, I'm just gonna save it for a giveaway. Um, okay, and now we will go on to what I actually bought. And I don't remember when they said the highlight palette that I pre-ordered was coming in, but that feels like there's a few things in here, which I'm slightly confused, but oh yeah, cool. Okay, so I bought two, two of the products on their own, and the first one, it, oh, fuck me. Is it the same thing? You gotta be joking. It is. God damn it. Okay, it's the same one of these, the cemetery, cemetery, cemetery shrines. Yeah, okay. All right, so... Another giveaway item. And then the last one is the product that I saw Bailey use in one of her murder mystery videos. And I'm pretty sure this is what like took their brand and made it popular. This is the Pro Contour Palette Book Volume 1. And they have another one that's slightly warmer, but I wanted to give this a try and see what everybody was talking about. So it's basically a whole face palette. I mean, you can use it blush, shadow, whatever. I like that it's very neutral. I love that it has these two dark shades. It's all matte. It's gonna put some more blush on, but I don't know, what the hell, whatever. I'm gonna do a blush. And so I'm just gonna go in with the lightest blush. And this is a palette I would absolutely use for eyes and face. It's very neutral pink. And we'll do that one of the highlighters too. Why not? I'm just gonna go in with the lightest one. Ooh, wow. That's nice. And you know what, I'll do, I'll do this one too. I was actually kind of like, uh, because they were going to be a little too, like, satiny and not... It, it gives me wet face, and that's what I love. So, I'm very happy, actually. I wouldn't order one of their mystery boxes again, honestly. Just, again, for solely for the reason that they don't have enough products to, I don't want to say warrant a mystery box, because that's not for me to say. But it wasn't worth it for me for the mystery box. More so just because, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of confused they put like this pre-ordered highlighter palette in the mystery box, but lucky for someone else who's going to win it. So yeah, that was it. Have you ever gotten a mystery box from this brand? Have you ever bought their products? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you'd like, helps my channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.